you're looking, you're looking to the left, to you're the left. In, you're in the way, babe. Can everybody look here, please? Everybody. Well, now we get the direction. Everybody start to the left. Come on. Gentlemen, over your left shoulder, looking to your left, together. Ryan, we saw filtered pictures of a lot of um, bruises while filming the movie. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not sure that I caused them. I don't know. I, I'm not sure, you know. I'm not, I can't be, I can't be certain that that's was because of me. Because it's been non-stop, it's like... It was insane. It was so much action. I've never made an action film before. I've done films that have action in it. Right. But I guess most action movies have like four or five action set pieces. This has nine. So even for, you know, the Russo brothers who have done this like for a decade, they were like, this is nuts. This is a lot. We reshot many sequences many times, you know, they, but that's what's cool about working with the Russos is that they, if there's a chance it could be better, you know, they'll go back and do it again. I'm still not sure we might not reshoot some of this movie after the screening tonight. They still might be like, oh, we should go back and do that fight again. Oh, nice. Alrighty, Ana, comenzamos. Tres costillas fracturadas. Los hermanos, cuatro. Bueno, no, no, no fracturadas, salidas de sitio. Para que vean que esto no es, no, no es un juego, ¿no? Oh, no, no, no. Aquí el entrenamiento fue súper, súper fuerte. La disciplina, la entrega. Eh, fue un, un commitment. Grande. Grande, sí, sí, sí. Pero vale la pena porque luego ves estas escenas y, y, y te das cuenta también de, de, de todo lo que, lo bien organizado que lo tenían ellos, bien pensado, sí. incluso en momentos en los que me puse, me enfadé muchísimo porque veían una escena y no les gustaba y había que volver a repetirla y ahí se salen las costillas. Sí. Claro, <risa> Estas claro, cosas claro, pasan, claro. pero... Pero es una satisfacción muy grande después ver la película y ver tan, eh, todo el esfuerzo y todo el trabajo que se, se, ve, se ve en pantalla. Hemos visto banderas cubanas agitándose cuando llegaste. Ah, mucho orgullo, sí. ¿Qué les puedes decir a tus cubanos, no solamente en Estados Unidos, en el mundo, sino también a los que la siguen luchando en tu isla? Eh, ¿Qué les puedo decir? Es... Esto es una pregunta un poco complicada porque... Yo adoro a mi país y adoro a todos los cubanos, estén allí o estén fuera. Y entiendo la lucha de todos, y entiendo el esfuerzo de todos, y entiendo los sentimientos de todos, y estoy con ellos. Reggae, please remove yourself from my personal space. Not on your life. <laughs> That's going to become a classic. How long have you been waiting to that, say that? Oh too? my God, since I saw you, because that's going to become a classic. I think my favorite thing is that you say it in the accent as well. It only works with a Spanish accent. Of course. <laughs> of course. That's why I was like, if there's somebody that can say that, it's me. We had so much fun with it on set. I think that <laughs> Anna and I just decided to hype ourselves up to see who could win this match of creepiness. Um, and we'll let the audience decide kind of who, who took the points on that one. Uh, you had to explore a character without any morals, without any um, regrets. So how, how was to get into uh, this, you know, this, this mindset? Um, incredibly fun. Um, a little disturbing, but fun. It's just, um, it's, it's a holiday from, from everything. <laughs> Playing villains is just freeing yourself from everything that is nice about you and seeing what would happen if you had no blocks between you and by any means necessary. And there's something hugely indulgent and escapist about that. It's kind of all your darkest fantasies. And then, you know, if you do it right, you put it back in a little box and kind of put it away and go back to life and get to be even lighter and freer than ever before. Joe, Anthony, we thought we had seen the sexiest mustache in Miles Taylor in Top Gun. Oh, yeah. Now that's debatable now, right? Oh, because right. you guys have created probably the sexiest mustache of the summer. We want a mustache showdown. Yeah between Miles and Chris. That's it. By the way, I play in a fantasy football league with both Miles and Chris, no and there's a lot of fun banter going on right now about those mustaches. Definitely. Yeah. How did, how did you come up with that idea? Because it's perfect. It, it, was, it came from the genius mind of Chris Evans. Yeah, Chris, no I think way. it did, yes. 
he look at he's a he's a brilliant actor. He's a clever actor. And look, the three of us together, we wanted to create a character for him that was as far away as from Captain America as you could possibly get. And Lloyd Hansen, his character in The Gray Man, is that character. I have to ask you about our, about our Ana de Armas. Oh, uh, wow. This girl is like everywhere, so uh, tell me, why did you choose her for this project? Look, we knew at the heart of the movie there was this mano a mano brewing between these two lead characters, and we wanted a third lead in the film, a very strong female character that was an independent force outside of those two. And we needed an actor who can anchor that kind of a character. And Anna is such a badass. She's so tough. She's so smart. Uh, she, she, you, you'll be shocked at what she can do physically in this movie. Uh, she, she works really hard. And she, look at, she's a super smart actor. She, convey, she conveys a really um, complex and entertaining and fun in her life. I mean, she's just a joy to watch. She's Cuban. You don't want to mess with Cuban girls. Oh, I know it. I know it. You can tell that right away from her. But also, it's like you feel warmth and you feel strength with her. And that's a beautiful combination. How, how did it feel about your character? Because it's like so far away from a lot of things that you've done, right? Um, a very well put together guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, every now and then you got to put a suit on. I normally don't, as you can see. How did that feel? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> restricting. But... Uh, uh, I mean, to tell you the truth, uh, I, I did it, I liked the part because he was the protector of the young girl, and I, I have a daughter, and, you know, and so that really resonated with me. Yeah.